Hello and welcome to the seventh round of the UCI Women's World Cup. We're here for the Crescent Team time trial in Vagorda in Sweden. Well, it's two days of competition, one team time trial and then the road race. Taking a look here at one of the teams who are warming up, and this is Elena Cecchini, who of course was second in the Chongming round of this World Cup series. Elena wears the Young Riders jersey for the World Cup series, which is a clear indication of the future that she has ahead of her. So the mechanics and the directors getting ready for this team time trial. Let's take a look at the standings before competition. Lizzie Armistead uh, still leading the World Cup with 420 points. And the competition is still between her and Emma Johansson with 295. Lisa Brenner of the specialized Lululemon team. They'll be feeling the pressure today. They've won this event three times and they're the reigning world champions for the team time trial. Evie Stevens, she's looking a little bit nervous ahead of today's World Cup. Yeah, incredibly more nervous. Um, you know, in an ITT, when you mess up, it's just yourself that you're letting down. But for a team time trial, you know, the teams work so hard. The staff has worked so hard. Um, and so if you mess up, you're messing up for everyone. So it's uh, when it goes well, it's by far better than winning a race by yourself. But when it goes wrong, it can be pretty bad. <laughs> Here's Ellen Van Dyke, the world time trial champion who switched from specialized Lululemon and she'll add firepower to Bowles Dolmans this time. We need to be able to uh, suffer, suffer really hard. I think it's, it's the, um, the hardest discipline in cycling. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, of course you need to do it with the team and the team has to be as smooth as possible. And um, I think when you're really well, um, yeah, when you train a lot with each other and when you, uh, really used to riding with each other, it, it makes a big difference. It's a home World Cup for Emma Johansson. She's in the zone, a very important race for her today in the team time trial. She looks very focused and very keen to pick up some points and close that gap to Lizzie Armitstead on the World Cup series. So a very important day then for Orica AIS as they get ready for this team time trial. And the build-up now of the ambitions of Mariana Voss and her Rabo Live team. They're hoping for great things in this race and the World Championships in one month's time. It's been a big goal throughout the whole season for us. Um, last year we stepped up uh, second place uh, behind Specialized Lululemon and uh, they remain uh, top favourite. They won uh, world, two world titles uh, in a row, also won here uh, last year. Um, uh, I have the impression we were closing in, so this is the, the, the really big test towards the world. Ah, this morning I woke up and I thought, oh hell, we have the team time trial. Yeah, you you make each other suffer, and and that's hard, but also really yeah beautiful about uh, this discipline. Yeah, and I think it's hard, but in the end it's beautiful. <laughs> Well, it's beautiful. Let's take a look then at the map of the course that the riders face today. They go out at a straight run out to Halunga, where the checkpoint is. The time taken at 16.4 kilometers. The riders then retrace before they go on to the road race circuit that the riders will ride on the second day of competition and the finish in Vagorda. Total race distance, 43 kilometers. As we join up now with the Orica AIS team and they're on the starting ramp. All six riders, good conditions as they get themselves ready for racing. Strong team for the Orica AIS team. It's very, the pressure is on them today to close that gap to Lizzie Armitstead to give them a chance to win the World Cup series with Emmy Johansson. Joining up here then with the Russ Velo team in the red and this squad looking pretty cohesive as they work well together through this next turn. Oh, little kick there by the rider at the back and that was Chulkova just losing the back wheel. But it's great to see these riders in formation, all the disc wheels and all the aerodynamic equipment. Well, it's so important to know the course very well, to have practiced it, to have worked together as a team and to know each other and each other's strengths and to know this road inside out. This is the American squad. We haven't seen them in the World Cup. This is Tibco to the top and they've gone quickest at the checkpoint. 20 minutes and nine seconds, 50 seconds faster than the first squad to reach there. Well, specialized Lululemon, they'd be feeling the pressure on the start line here. You can see very serious faces. Chantel Black there just taking a deep breath before the start. 
Well, they look like they're ready now. Last time they set a time of 53 minutes, 59.4 seconds. So a lot expected of this squad as they make their way down the start ramp. They do look great all together there. I do think team time trials are just a fantastic sight. As we join up now with the team car of Specialised Lululemon and the opportunity to follow them out on the course. Specialised Lululemon are one team that specifically target the team time trial. They're the favourites today. They've been here for a long time studying the course, riding together. They go to very big efforts to scientifically test all of their equipment and work together for the team time trial. Stay on the right lane, stay on the right lane and find the rhythm. Ronnie Luke then working hard to keep the key messages in the minds of his riders. This is the Bigler team. They've got some real firepower in this squad as we see the Tipco squad going the other direction. Well, it's very important for these riders to hear from their directors when the corners are coming up because they've very specifically got to keep their head in the right position. This is the Estado Mexico Farin team. This is the team of Elena Cecchini who are working well together, the team here in pink. They've had a good season, really. We get to know them uh, during these uh, World Cup races, and I think our probably assumption now is that they're a real attacking squad. Here's the giant Shimano team on the start ramp. Kirsten Wield, one of the main players of the giant Shimano team here today, but she'll be very interested in the Road World Cup, which is in two days' time. She's won the World Cup before, so it'll be interesting to see how much she actually gives today in the team time trial. We see here the approach of the Russ Velo team to the 16.4 kilometre checkpoint. It'll be good to see the comparison of them to the other squads who have reached uh, this uh, critical point in the race. Here come Russ Velo now. Let's see what the time is. Rochelle, 19.59, 10 seconds quicker than the American team of Tipco. Well, they've started out very well, and it's all about pacing themselves today. Here's the Orica AIS team. Well, we can see here now that the rain is starting to fall as our camera lens gets cleaned. This is pretty important. We saw Orica AIS start in the sunshine and now the rain's falling. It means they're going to have to be very careful. You can see Amy Johansson sitting on the tip of her saddle there. That means that she's giving everything. You see the aero gloves. They've gone to very huge lengths to get every second out of this team time trial today. This is the specialised Lululemon team as they continue to work hard. Let's just remind ourselves then there are 35 points on offer for each rider in the winning team that finish together. 30 points for second, 25 for third. So we need to see whether uh, the gaps start to close in the overall standings. Back at the start with the high-tech team. It's an interesting lineup for the high-tech team here in Sweden. They're without their three strongest riders, Chloe Hosking, Ashley Moorman and Elisa Longo Borghini. Well, the rain really started to fall heavily now, uh, which is going to maybe change things a little bit. So the riders who've managed to ride on the drier roads at the beginning will have had a little bit of an advantage. The Bigler team approaching 16.4 kilometres. Well, the teams would have known that there was a chance of rain today, so there would have been big decisions before the race about the tyre pressures. 26 seconds, the advantage now for the Bigler squad. That is a very, very good time as we see the arrival of the first team to hit this finish line. Let's see what the standard is going to be for all the other teams to beat. And Team Ridger finish in one hour, 0-0-38. Well, the time is taken on the fourth rider, so it's very important for the last person to cross the line as close as they possibly can to the rest of the team. Here comes Tipco. They've had a good ride because they started three minutes behind the team in front of them. Look at the time then, 57 minutes, 57. They go top of the leaderboard. They've got some very good track riders in that American team, including uh, Jean Kizanowski and Jasmine Glazer. That's helped them, I think, out on the course. Here's the Mexican team, Estado de Mexico Farin. They're looking good, just coming into the time check, so we'll see how they're going out there. So third position behind the Bigler cycling team, 29 seconds down. 
A little bit of time to make up then for that squad in pink as we go back to the start. And here's the World Cup leader. She looks pretty focused, Lizzie Armistead and her bowls at Dolman's team. This is a weekend that could cap it all for Lizzie Armistead, but this team need to back her up. Well, she's certainly got a strong team there with Ellen Van Dyke, the reigning individual time trial champion. So she'll be pleased about having that strength in the team today. Out on the course with Kirsten Wilde as she continues to push on with this giant Shimano team. She's an extremely powerful bike rider. She, of course, won the Chongming round of the World Cup and she's riding well in here. We'll see what sort of time they can put in at the finish line. Well, we can see here oh, the riders on their aero skis trying to get into that aero tuck and keep the low frontal area so they can really power on. And some of these riders having some difficulty having to wipe the rain now off these visors that they wear. Well, it's very unfortunate for those teams that have heavy rain. And we see the Rabobank team here now. They're starting in very heavy rain. Down the start ramp safely, a little bit slidey, uh, but this is Mariana Voss's squad and Rochelle. This team have been working really hard on their team time trial. The arrival now of the Russ Velo team, only four riders left in this squad as they push on to try and set the fastest time. Let's take a look at it. They hit the line now, and the time is 57 minutes 17, and they go top of the leaderboard by 40 seconds. They should be quite happy with that ride today. Obviously, they've dug pretty deep. You can see the expressions on their face. They've had a hard ride out there. Well, they certainly have. Look at this. The weather is getting even worse. Out on the course now with the Orica AIS team. This is an important moment. Let's see the time split of this squad. They look to have lost some riders already. Well, Emmy Johansson spent a lot of time on the front. You see that, that she's pushing the pressure through the corners. Amanda Spratt there behind. They've got Melissa Hosking, a track rider, in here just to add that additional power to the team and support Emmy Johansson in her quest to close down on the World Cup Series. A good performance then by Orica AIS. So the work being done by the team, they go top of the leaderboard at the 16.4 kilometre split. Out on the road again with this Bigler team. In here is Vera Kududa. She was fourth in this team time trial last season with the Sengers team that is no longer a squad that we see in the World Cup. But they're powering on. Here are the reigning world champions, specialised Lululemon. They're looking very strong out there today and they look beautiful in formation. They certainly do. Four of the riders in this team took part in this team time trial last year. So it's a cohesive unit and they're looking good now as they head towards this intermediate time split. OK, and go. Go, go, go. A little bit more encouragement there from Ronnie as he gives them more orders. Let's take a look at what this time is going to be. Last year, their time split was 19 minutes 55. Look at this, 18 minutes and 21 seconds. They have absolutely blitzed their record of last year. Such an impressive performance from the specialised Lululemon team and incredible considering the weather conditions. Well, they're on this Shiv time trial bike. It's won multiple world titles. Let's find out all about it. Specialised stuff from the tyres. Yeah. And you can see there's nothing yeah. on it. But it's only the gum, it's important, okay. not, the, not the profile, it's very important, only the gum. You can see we have the, we have the tree spoke, it's very nice, it's a complete new one. We also have the big front wheel, that's nine, with a good profile. Um, but I think the riders have to say which one she want to drive, because it's a completely different feeling. The big one, you have to hold your bar very hard because it's not too easy to handle it. I think it's something the skills makes a more thing. If you have a girl with a good skills, bike skills, then it's easier to handle with that. But if they have not so good, then they have to use this one. I think it's better because the Swiss spokes with the spokes makes like a disc if it's really fast and it's not like to handle it easy. The wind came the most like from the front and it's very important to point the points here with your hands, the bar here with the brakes and the brake in the front here. 
it's the most important things for the time trial bike and the fork. This point is very important. The wheel here is not so important, more like there and here, but here is the frame, the most important thing here. The seat post that we got, you can see it's not round or it's very aerodynamic, it's like a fish. It's the only one and the girls love it because they don't can slide anymore so much and it's a, I think it's the only one that can, you can buy with the stuff on it. 55 from S-Works because we need it for the downhill passage 55 and 11 and in the back we use uh, 26 here because for the mountain for the small one it's very important. The only part is you lose some time, some seconds is if you go on the start because you don't can shift here on the bar. But I think if you make the right gear on the start, that's another never a problem. Okay. You have to back it. That's the only thing. If you know it, then it's easier. No let up in the weather conditions. The rain is pouring down. Which is going to make the run into this finish very, very difficult now for the teams that are out on the course. Here we are. We haven't seen them since they started. Lizzie Armistead and her Bowles Dolmans team as they approach 16.4 kilometres. Well, they look pretty good. Lizzie Armistead doing a big turn on the front and leading them through the corners. So they usually have worked out who's going to be on the front through the corners. Lizzie Armistead very handy with the bike and she chooses to take th the team through the corners. 18 minutes and 21 seconds was the time of specialised Lululemon. And it's 19 minutes and 20 seconds for Bowles Dolman. So they have some work to do. Well, specialised Lululemon really do look like they're on form. Very concentrated, very relaxed. They're sitting so close to the wheel in front of them. But that's what they do best. They train together a lot. And here we see Trixie Warwick, the German. Very experienced, flicking the elbow and letting the team come through. Yeah, a little flick of the elbow to get the riders through. And this is the final team. The Rabo Live team with Mariana Voss. Now, last season, when they went through this point, they had a very good split point. In fact, they were five seconds faster than specialised Lululemon. But look at this for a turn up for the books. 18.21 for specialised Lululemon and 19.11 for Mariana Voss's team. Well, not looking so good for the Rabobank team this year and we're only one month out from the World Championship, so they're definitely going to have to find something on the way back or in time for the World Championship if they want to be in contention for that gold medal. Just caught a glimpse there of Shara Gillow of Orica AIS rocking and rolling a little bit as we go back to the finish line. The weather conditions a little bit better. Hitting the line now are the team of Bigler and they go top of the leaderboard with 56 minutes and six seconds. The times Rochelle are getting quicker and quicker. They certainly are. We just saw one of those riders roll by. They've got their radios placed in the back under their skin suit there. And Specialised Lululemon team. We've seen Ronnie Luke giving them a lot of instruction and encouragement. And for some athletes, they really need that instruction from the race director back in the car. Well, certainly helping this team because they are not letting up in their pacemaking. Back now with giant Shimano, who've lost some riders. Four of the team heading to the conclusion of this team time trial. Well, we spoke to Kirsten Wheeled before the race and asked her how she thinks she would go. And she said, I don't think it's going to be a great day for us out there. We're down to four riders already, but back to the Rabo Live team. Picking up the pace there on the front. They really must be scratching their heads here about how they can be so far down on specialised Lululemon. And they look really good today. The arrival then of the Mexican team with Elena Cecchini and Rosella Rato heading to the finish line here in Vagorda. Let's take a look at the time outside that of Bigler, 56.23, 17 seconds down. Well, that's not a bad performance for them. They'll be thinking about the World Cup in two days' time to try and defend that young rider's jersey for Elena Cecchini. Here we are out on the road with specialised Lululemon again. The lead at the moment is 1 minute 55 seconds to Orica AIS. 1 minute 55 to Orica AIS on the second place at the moment, second speed time. Well, that's incredible, isn't it? Ronnie Luke doesn't even react, and they're 1 minute 55 seconds ahead of their uh, rivals, Orica AIS. Well, you see he gives a little bit of a smile of satisfaction there back in the race car. He doesn't need to say anything. He doesn't want to get too excited too soon, but 
that's a very, very confident margin. Here's the arrival of Orica AIS at the finish line in Vagorda, but in the distance, specialised Lululemon are almost catching them. Orica AIS hit the line. The time is 55.03, but look at this squad. They are going to absolutely blitz all the teams off the leaderboard. Specialised Lululemon, 52 minutes and 12 seconds, uh, well over a minute faster than last year. That's a course record. What a performance. Well, Specialized Lululemon, they nearly closed a gap of three minutes to the Orica AIS team. That was a very, very impressive ride. Here we are on the course then with Bowles Dolmans. Has any squad got an answer to Specialized Lululemon today? Lizzie Armistead and the rest of her team are now trying to set a fast time. She's thinking of both time and points. And here is Mariana Voss's squad going through that tight little corner. They've got a lot of time to make up since the turnaround point. They're a long way behind the Specialized Lululemon team. Here we have Giant Shimano coming in for their finish. Let's see what the time is going to be. Giant Shimano, four riders. That's the number they need to set a time, and it's 56.31. Four minutes and 18 seconds down today. They'll turn their focus now to the World Cup, the Road World Cup in two days' time. Big target for Kirsten Weald. Out on the course now with Bowles Dolmans. You'll notice the number of Lizzie Armistead is almost uh, coming adrift off the back of that aero skin suit. That's not going to help with the turbulence too well. well. They've certainly got the equipment. They've got the same bikes as the Specialized Lululemon team, so that'll be no, no excuse out there today. The Rabobank team just getting up the hill on the road course. This is a part of the World Cup road course in a couple of days. The most significant climb on the course. This is really going to hurt the legs now. Back uh, switching to Vagorda to the finish line. Five riders from this high-tech team. And they go right across the road there to finish in 57.34. Seventh place so far, but behind them, the next squad to arrive. Let's see what the time is going to be of Lizzie Armistead's team. They are second fastest. 54.45 and you know Rochelle I think she's going to be pretty happy with that. She'd have to be pleased with that ride today because it was a race against Orica AIS's Emma Johansson and Lizzie Armistead must be pleased with beating them today. 500 metres to go then for the Rabobank team. There's Mariana Voss. She started this World Cup season late, but she's right on form. The time to beat, 52 minutes, 12.3. Let's see if they can do it as they turn into the finishing straight. Well, if there's any team that can do it, it would be the Rabobank team, but we saw that they struggled in the first part of the race. Have they been able to bring it home? Let's see the time as Mariana Voss and the rest of the squad stop the clock, and it's outside 53.33, and they have been beaten by 1 minute and 21 seconds. Well, you see the shake of the head there by Mariana Voss, so she knows already that it wasn't enough today. Specialised Lululemon team, that was an impressive ride. There's the standings then at the end of this team time trial. Specialised Lululemon out of sight, 52 minutes and 12 seconds ahead of Rabobank live in second and Bowles Dolmans in third. Congratulations to the team who took the victory. They're a little cold, but it's all smiles all round. Congratulations, Carmen, Evelyn, a course record. You were going fast. Yes, really fast, faster than last year. We could fill it and then the rain too, so it was a good ride. You took all the risks you could take in the corners. <laughs> uh, we, were, we were pretty safe, actually, in the first, like, on the turnaround, we were pretty safe. And, um, yeah, and, yeah, by the time we were coming back, we knew we were ahead, so we didn't want to risk too much, so. I think so. Last year, you won it by 38 seconds. Now you double that margin. It's just incredible. Yeah, I mean, we came here two weeks ago. We've been working a ton on it. Um, you know, it's the riders, it's our staff. They are 100% behind us. It's our equipment, our sponsors. So to come with this goal of the season and to accomplish it is is really satisfying. Yeah, very hard, of course, as, as expected. Um, I mean, it's always hard. Uh, it was also wet, but um, yeah, I think we did, a, we did a good team time trial. So uh, yeah, we are satisfied with our third place. One month until the World Championships. Is there enough time to make adjustments? Uh, no, it's hard. I think uh, we train a lot on it, and maybe uh, we are we are not here on our, maybe on our strongest. Uh, Pauline Van Vervo was not here, and she's also really strong this year. So, uh, if she also is in the team, um, maybe that can make a difference. And I think uh, we can be be uh, yeah 
much stronger uh, also. So if we are, everyone's in top shape, you can do better than today. Let's take a look at the standings then with two rounds of the World Cup to go. Lizzie Armistead increases her advantage on Emma Johansson. 445 points to 315. A great day then for Lizzie Armistead, all smiles for her. She has now increased her advantage on Emma Johansson and she knows if he beats her in the Road World Cup here in Vagorda, then she will be the World Cup winner. And that race will be in our next programme from Rochelle Gilmore and myself, Anthony McCrossan. Thanks for joining us. See you then.